What's up guys? Welcome back. This is Joe Young uh, making another video how to keep Discus 201 advanced. This is part two and today we're going to talk about common diseases, signs, and preventatives for those I guess diseases. Um, so let's go into it. Uh, this is going to be basically on common diseases that I've seen or I've encountered not necessarily everything so please take that in mind so the year and a half that I've kept discus so far the most common diseases that you'll probably end up running into uh, for I guess long-term discus and so I'm not talking about like new discus that you just recently gotten or like a tank that's not set up. I'm talking about your tank has been cycle that's been running for a long time and out of the blue you start having issues and so this is what I found the most common things that you'll find in discus is one you'll see ick a lot um, and this is just common across all tanks and it's just not just to discus uh, the next thing is clamp fins and clamp fins generally will associate with new discus uh, you recently either moved them via net or whatever or you know you might may have like an ammonia spike or something uh, stress um, things like that the next com most common thing that I've noticed is internal parasites um, and this includes them hiding uh, you know with white poop getting super skinny uh, the next thing is, I guess, white fins, where their fins turn kind of uh, like a whitish color. Um, this is kind of known, uh, I guess, uh, not a common name, but it's like a ammonia burn, basically. It's where you have an ammonia spike in the water, and their fin starts to turn a little bit of white. And it's usually the tip fins. And, of course, the other thing that I mentioned before is stress, and usually with stress, You'll see like their slime or their slime coat. I'm sorry, um, start to develop uh, a little bit more on their skin. And you'll see them kind of like with clamp fins a little bit, kind of running and hiding. So those are some of the most common things. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about signs and ways to prevent stuff like that. So a lot of these, they do have things in common, and I'm going to go ahead and kind of cover things preventatively that will help you as a discus owner slash keeper to keep your discus healthy. So with ick, you can obviously use medicine, medicated medicine. Um, the first thing I always like to do before you even touch medicine is just raise up the temperature. Uh, obviously, always keep your tank at either 83 or plus uh, Fahrenheit. Uh, and if you do run into issues with ick or any, I guess, disease or parasite, turn up the temperature. Turn it to 80 th 86. And then from 86, turn it to 88 and even 90. These fish can live at high temperatures. And with high temperatures, it increases the cycle the life cycle of these parasites slash whatever um, and it gets rid of them a lot faster so if you run into issues that's the first thing I would start to do is increase your temperature the second thing that I found that really helps is if you see anything wrong with your fish so for example if you see stress in the fish if you see ammonia burn obviously um, there's you know high ammonia in your water uh, you see your fish starting to hide clamp fins whatever in terms of signs of diseases do a water change water change usually will definitely help out your fish uh, the bigger the better I, I would say a 50 percent if you start to see issues um, and generally water changes and you just keep up with the water changes and with the high temperature usually it will solve most of your issues in terms of diseases for discus and if 
you can't get rid of whatever you have. So for example, let's say you have internal parasites, because this is one of the most common things for discus. And as a discus owner, you'll kind of run into this a lot. So signs for internal parasites, obviously you'll see them hide. Like for example, like these discus here, they're in front. They'll swim around. When you feed them, they'll come up to it and eat it. But what you'll notice when a discus gets sick is you'll see them running in the back corner, hiding behind something and don't want to eat. They, they'll probably end up coming out and try to eat something, but they'll go right back and hiding. Some, sometimes that's common for discus and it depends on their behavior. But for example, if you've noticed your fish always coming out when you feed it and then all of a sudden out of the blue, it just hides in the corner for days, for weeks. There's something wrong with your discus. And most likely that's associated with eternal parasites. Now the other sign is white stringy poo. Um, this is a great indicator for you to start treating your, your fish. And the best way is using medicated food. Um, and if you can't use medicated food, uh, the next best thing is medication and obviously internal parasite medication and the best thing is metro. Uh, it's metrolidazole is the full name but I just like to I'll just call it metro and that basically will treat internal parasites so with with that said um, the best thing you will want to try is medicated food that has metro uh, plus garlic um, and if they eat it that's great because that take takes care of everything that you'll need to do because now clean up whatever they'll have inside and they'll get healthy again. Now if you get to the point where the fish doesn't even want to eat you'll have to medicate them separately and it's best if you separate them from the, the tank and medicate them separately. And hopefully they can start eating and that way you can start giving them good food and whatnot. Optional. Uh, a lot of people don't really like to use it but salt uh, like aquarium salt I found that it actually does help prevent a lot of um, diseases and it helps you know the fish with oxygen and whatnot here and there and I I try to put some salt maybe once a month after I do you know multiple water changes just to help them out uh, you can try that Another thing is run a UV sterilizer. It'll help, you know, kill most of whatever's floating in your water and it'll help, of course, keep the algae down as well. Um, another great thing is while you're feeding them food, give them vitamins. Um, for example, I use VChem a lot and it's great. Basically, you met, you know, you, you add that straight into, like, for example, uh, black worms and you let it soak for a couple minutes and you feed it to them and it gives them a vitamin booster it helps their immune system and it's great for them um, another thing is for food don't always feed them the same thing so instead of feeding them always beef heart or like black worms change it up give them flakes give them a balanced diet give them you know vitamins here and there you know just anything and everything that they can eat and that helps them out a lot and it helps them build their immune system and their health a lot better. I hope you learned something from this in terms of just basic um, common signs and common, I guess, diseases for discus. I know I don't really, I didn't really cover in detail certain things so if you have comments or, you know, troubles with certain things I can try to help out separately via comment or private message. But these are just some of the common things that I've noticed when I've kept my discus and things that I've done that worked and didn't work. So please try to take away what you can from this and um, good luck on keeping the discus and stay tuned for the next video. Peace!